So we're gonna put the new Elfman component trigger in. This is our match grade trigger, it's full roller bearing. To kind of give you an idea, there's there's two bearings that have flanges on them. We have the bushing uh, pressed in the middle and two bushings on the sides, and so it keeps it all centered, and it's full roller bearing trigger, but it's just without a housing. So we gotta keep these feet facing forward on the trigger, uh, on, on the spring, okay? And we're gonna set it in. We're gonna keep those forward, then we're gonna move the trigger back until it falls into the, uh, let's see, here's the, okay, so we'll put the little shoe down in there first, and you can see the two springs are facing forward. Okay, so that's what we wanna do. Then, we're gonna take our screw, and we're gonna push this down in place. It's pretty easy on the shoe, it's harder on the hammer. Okay, so that went right in place. Now, if you tighten that down a little bit, it actually lines the holes up on the other side. And it may spin and not tighten all the way. So just take your next screw. Look in the other side. You might have to push it a little bit, but maybe not. Okay. All right, now that's screwed right in too, so that's no problem. Now we're gonna screw it down a little bit, and we're gonna take our Allen wrench and put one on each side. Okay. Now we're just gonna firm them up. Do that one, just firm, and that one. Okay, now we're gonna make sure that it's free. Okay, so now we're gonna put the hammer. This is the AR-15 style hammer. So we're gonna take that, you gotta put it in on one side, like that, and pop it over onto the other side. Okay, so it's gonna look like that. Okay, now these two legs, we want on both sides of the trigger. So we're just gonna put it in there, and then we're gonna pick up the hammer. So those go on top of the trigger spring. On the old one, on the one that's already in there. Okay, now we're gonna take our set screw. It's got a lock washer and a washer. Okay, now this is a little trickier, it's a little harder to do. So there's two ways we can do this too, is we can also line it up with another with the other Allen wrench for right now. So I'm gonna push it down in there. I'm gonna push it forward. Make sure I'm down far enough. Okay, just to get it through so that it's somewhat in place. Okay, and I'll back it out enough that that Allen wrench is out of my way. And that kind of just starts it because it takes a little bit of pressure. Okay, so now I'm going to look in there and I'm going to guide that until that hole looks like it's in place. And you got to move it around a little bit to get it to catch. And just, there it goes. Okay, so now it's starting to go in. And I'm going to screw it down as far as I can until it wants to spin or anything. Okay, then I'm going to take the screw on the opposite side. Okay, I'm going to pull that Allen wrench out. Look at it, you generally got to push it down and forward a little bit. But you'll push it further than you need to and you won't get it to go in. So just wiggle it around. As you do it, it went right in. Okay, so I'm going to tighten that down. Now I'm going to take both, screw, both Allen wrenches, one on each side. Okay, and we're going to firm them up. That's it. Then we're going to take the ends of the wire of the uh, spring in the bottom here. And I like to push them off to the sides like that. Okay, they're out of the way. Now, in order to put your safety back in, you put it right here. So this is your trigger in the fallen position. This is on the safety catch. And when you do that, it'll allow the safety to go in with no problem. So you just got to make sure you're on the safety. If you're forward, it won't do it. And if you're all the cocked, it won't do it either. You won't be able to get it out. And same thing in the fallen position, it won't want to go in or out. So that's where you take the safety in and out. Now we're going to remove this component trigger out. Just in case we have a problem, I want to show you how we, we solve that problem. Okay, we're going to take the two, two uh, Allen wrenches, put one on each side, and just kind of move them together. And usually it'll just come out, but it, it happens where it does not come out. Okay, so same thing on here on the hammer. We'll do the hammer first, actually. Okay, and it seems like they're both coming out. All right, but I'm going to pretend one did not, so we're going to leave this one in. We're going to take this one out. So sometimes they spin. So you, one side comes out and the other side does not want to come out. So we're going to take the side that comes out, out. We're going to take the screw with the washer and the nut. We're going to screw it in the side that did not come and out. And that's included. And this will be included in your package, yes. Okay, so we screw it down with a good amount of threads in there, like at least, let's say, five. Okay, then we take the Allen wrench which is not this Allen wrench, and I never have it when I'm ready. Here we go. So now this Allen wrench also comes with it, and we're gonna tighten this screw down now, this nut. Okay, so it's technically right now, it's a jam nut. 
So now that's tight. Now we can hold this in place. We can turn this side out. Okay, and then what will happen is this side will want to spin. So you'll t unhook the jam nut. So as I turn this out, I'm right in your way. Okay, so it comes out. Now this one won't come out until you hold it. You release the nut. And now you should be able to take it right out. And it's going to fly out when this comes out. So you got to hold the hammer. Okay, and now you, did you see a spark?